Hello, my name is Joseph Alexander, and I am a student at Sonoran Desert Institute, and I am submitting this, uh, this is my video submission for my muzzleloader lab assignment, and I'm going to do a quick function check first just to show you that it does work, and I'm going to get up a little bit closer to the camera, so, all right, and there's no powder in there, I don't have a cap on it, so I'm not going to dry fire and let it slam home on the nipple without a cap, as you can see, there's no cap on there, you know, it's kind of blurry, but back away. Uh, so that's half cock, full cock, set trigger, and that's a very light trigger man. I really love that when you put that set trigger on. It's very good so and I, you know you don't have to use the, the uh, set trigger obviously but man to get that real nice just super light trigger pull um, that set trigger is very handy and, and I'm going to start now I'm going to move into the steps I went through to, to uh, put this thing together and tell you about the troubles I had I had a, quite a few and I'm the guy that actually emailed you who was worried I wasn't going to get done with it so um, first thing I did I went by the book and I inleted the uh, lock first uh, hammer lock and everything so it's because it is the most it goes by vulnerability and that question came up in quiz and in the final and everything so um, I that took me a while. Never have I, I've never inletted anything. Uh, never done any type of work like this. I work at a gun store and I've pretty much taken over most of the uh, cleaning and guns, minor, minor gunsmithing things, not full on like super hard gunsmithing things, but replacing broken parts and stuff. I've taken all that over. And I've never done anything quite this difficult. Um, this was stressing me out. But I also have had a lot of other stuff going on in life and uh, one year old had to get tubes in her ears, chronic ear infections, not a lot of sleep at night, so everything has been that much harder. So um, if you have kids, you understand. Um, so yeah, this was, this would have been a lot more fun and a lot more enjoyable project under different circumstances. But I hammered down, I got it done, you know, grown up, so I uh, stayed up late, drank a lot of coffee, got this thing knocked out. And um, so after, so inleted the locking piece. The next step was uh, getting the brass and everything. I, um, it's not quite finished the way I like it, and I'm gonna do some. I'm probably gonna strip this thing all the way down and do some other little, little fine tuning here and there, cosmetic wise. I'm not pleased with it. It doesn't. I mean, it kind. It looks okay. People look at it and say, "Wow, it looks really good," but it doesn't. You know, the standards of, for which it's graded. I don't think it's that um, that good, but. Because there's a, there's a gap there, and the, I'm not going to hide it. There's a gap right here in the stock, and I'm going to have to fix that. It's bugging me. I hate it, you know, or fill it, or something. Um, but I got uh, I inleted the trigger. Was the next step, and that wasn't too bad. That went a little bit faster than I was. I, I thought it was going to be a more difficult job installing the trigger and getting it all to work, but it wasn't too terrible. Inleted the uh, the trigger guard here. That was that kind of got frustrating, and I need to. I, I it needs a little bit more work. Uh, I'm I'm not pleased with how that looks, but I'm gonna get all that fine tuned, and um, I may just wind up hanging. I'm gonna shoot it a few times. Might shoot it for Fourth of July, but then it's gonna just. I want to hang it up and display it. You know, like a patriotic mural in my home or something, or my my workshop. Um, but uh, let's see what else. Barrel tendons is what gave me the most trouble, and it was my fault. I broke a drill bit in each one. <laughs> I snapped off a drill bit, and that's what was making me panic because I was having a hard time getting them out. And I was so scared I was going to split the wood. But um, I eventually was able to drive them out with a, with a uh, punch, and was able to unscrew them with some pliers, got them out, and was able to... Was able to make the tenons work somehow. I thought it was just. I thought it was done. I thought I trashed it, but um, I got the tenons. Oh, sorry, it's kind of blurry. There's one, and there's two. So, yep, got them drilled through both sides there, and uh, 
The sites went in pretty easily. Now the tenons, I did have to, uh, like it says in the book, I had to take a file, angle file, and I just, I worked on it a little bit and finally got them to hammer in there, took my, my handy punches that, that you guys sent me. Love those punches, man. I've been putting those in really good use. I, those are the best punches. I don't have punches like that at work. I got trash at work. I got to get some better stuff, but, uh, and I'm not taking them there because they'll get lost. People take them, other employees. So, um, but yeah, very much. It was this. This was a difficult task. It, it. I'm glad I did it. Oh, and blue in the barrel. I at first I was not pleased with how the barrel looked. Now I'm loving it because it kind of looks like a rustic blue. I, I use Dicapan Brown Ales uh, Blue in Solution. That's the best Insta Blue that I've used. It worked. That's what I use on everything when I have to re-blue screws. And I used it on the screws where I had to file some off there on the lock piece. So I, uh, I, I put a little bit of blue in on the end of there so it, it wouldn't look like shiny metal where I'd filed it down to make it fit. And I had to do, I had to do that up here, putting that piece in. Um, had to file it down and put a little diaper pan. I guess I really didn't need to, but it's just a habit. I put it on every, every time I have to take a screw down, I put diaper pan on it. So um, and I'm sorry if I'm talking fast. I'll try to keep this video short. but. Yeah, and when I blew the barrel, I mean, it kind of gave it a rustic look. And kind of like when I get an old uh, Brown and A5 in to, to, to take apart and clean and work on. Uh, I love the way those barrels, that old blue, and I hate when people re blue them because it never looks the same. They don't get it done the correct way. It's not, it doesn't look factory. It just looks like some Insta crap somebody put on there. I love this look. I think it, it, it kind of blends with the, uh, the, the look of the lock. So. Uh, all right, well, I think that's about everything I, I can think of. The sights went in real easily. Uh, uh, most difficult part was just the inletting. I've never done it. It was tough, but I'm glad I did. It, I can add something to my, you know, my experience box, and if I ever have to do something like this in the future, it won't be for the first time. And I may have to do the, the, another one of these because I feel like if I did it again, I could do a much better job. So um, again, I'll do one more function check. Half cock, full cock, set trigger, and that's it. But uh, all right, again, my name is Joseph Alexander, um, and this is the I got it done on the very last day. This is a uh, Sunday, June third. So uh, yeah, I'm about to go submit all this right now. But enjoyed the class, and um, I'm glad I got the opportunity, the ability to take these courses. Really helped me in my career, and as an aspiring gunsmith so I'm excited to get done with it and get my papers and continue to get gain experience and knowledge in this in this field in this in this artwork that is gunsmithing so all right thank you